All right, everybody, welcome back to our new series, Zwangul. We are going to be playing unranked to either diamond or master or even higher if I feel like it. In the jungle only, I'm going to learn this role. This is a role I play pretty much the least out of all of them. And I feel like this role is the most impactful. A lot of my games are decided by the junglers, so I'd like to be the person who decides who wins or loses a game. Plus, I want to learn a bunch of jungle camp our jungle champs in their clear, so It'll be a fun learning experience. Nice series for us to do. So I'm starting off with Graves. I don't know why I just had an itch to play him. We're gonna go full lethality Graves most likely. Unfortunately we did get counter picked. Apparently Nidalee is listed as a counter to Graves. I'm sure we're gonna learn why soon. Hopefully she just doesn't invade me here and kill me. Yeah, I'm hoping I can make an impact on the early game here. Because we have a pretty bad comp. I mean, at least we have a tank. We have a Galio. But I have a feeling my bot lane's not going to win. All I ask for is just not to have three losing lanes my first jungle game. It'd make my life a lot easier. But win or lose, it is what it is this game. I'm fine with actually starting out with some losses because then I get more time to learn before I get to a high rank. First blood. I think I already didn't do the correct clear, though. I probably should have just done... Oh, there's Nidalee. Okay, cool. I should have just done red into a gank, actually. Because that's pretty much what Nidalee's doing. But I want to secure my red before she invades me. I think she's stronger than me early. But if I wait in a bush, I feel like I could kill her. Where'd she go? Alright, let's try and gank. Well, we burned some of his HP. I'll go do bottom crab. Nilly was topside. Yoni's probably going to get re-ganked here. I actually wanted to pick up Nidalee in player 2, but she's just getting nerfed this patch, or next patch. Which, I didn't think she was that strong. I mean, she's strong early. But, I don't feel like she's that broken. Because once she falls off a bit, she's pretty useless. Oh, hey. This guy's literally taking no damage. I think we die. Potion. Oh, I used it too late. I mean, it is what it is. That guy was 1 HP, and I literally autoed him about 10 times. So, I guess Graves maybe isn't the strongest champ. I'm not going to lie. That was... Ooh, this is only 300. I, I couldn't have autoed him more there. <laughs> I don't understand how he didn't take damage. Has been slain. At least we got a kill. Until he is doing good, so I'm probably going to gank her. She seems like she knows, knows what she's doing. Is she on these? No. I don't think I'm stronger than her. I don't know. After fighting that Yasuo, I actually feel like the weakest champ in the game now, so... I'm gonna try and get some items. But maybe, with this lethality dirt, I might actually have enough damage. You can bait him. I'm here. You're kidding me. Am I dead to turret again? Okay. It worked. I'll give her a ward. I gotta go. My bot side's about to spawn. So, 
Apparently, Graves are going Ghostblade into Collector. So we'll try it. We need to zoom around the map. I mean, I'm just going to buy a bunch of swords. The thing is, like, I could get a Maw and then Nidalee can't beat me. But then I have to get a Maw versus a bunch of AD champs. Okay, he's out. I kind of need to gank him before he dies, but I also got to clear. We haven't seen Nidalee in a while, so... I don't know. Not gonna lie, that blue buff just scared me. Because, like, at any moment, a Nidalee spear can come out of a bush, and then I'm dead. He's coming aboard. Yeah. Alright, burn some of his HP. I don't really have any CC to gank with, so it's tough. Okay, they're on dragon. Just as I predicted, my bot lane's gonna be losing to Smolder. But at least I have a Talia top that's winning. Yone's gonna die, I think. I'd like level 6, if I could do a bit more damage. Alright, I'll try to gank it, but I mean, Galio's the only. Oh, Nidalee's here. That's warded. But yeah, I'd rather just leave them alone, I guess. And not really much I could have done there. Botlane kind of ran it down. I don't know why, but. Smolder on my team is the most useless champ in the world. Smolder on the enemy team always wins lane. At least I get their minions. I need to go clear my top side. Feeling lucky. Yeah, the Talia should swap to mid, because then she could we could kill Yasuo. Because it's so hard for me to do stuff top. Like, I want to do objectives, but unfortunately, I'm very limited because I have a losing bot lane, so I couldn't do dragon. I'm counter picked too, so she catches me. I can maybe go take one grub here, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just get the crab. Gank mid. Found Nidalee. I knew she'd be up here. I want to get vision for my top laner. Bad. That was actually pretty good. Can we do the grubbies now? I'm sure Talia can get back to lane quick, plus she has ult. I'm scared to use my dash in case Pantheon and Italy appear, and then I need to dash over the wall and get out. Yep, he's ulting in. Oh my god, he failed flash. Double 
All right, that ended up working out. Pantheon didn't die, but Nidalee did. I'm not even typing, dude. I'm getting the jungle experience already. The ego. The, the top laner ego. Alright, I need to clear then base. Like, that was a good fight. I don't, I don't get it. Why is she upset? Well, I'm doing more than Nidalee. I just have to pretty much ignore my losers, which are bot lane, and play around mid and uh, jungle. Leave her alone. Oh, I got stunned by Nautilus. Yone's here, though. He's not low enough to die to my ult, unfortunately. I almost smite for 20, but we could do it. He's going to steal it, or she's going to steal it, most likely. I'm sure this Talia is going to get far on her YouTube career if she's going to treat people like shit for no reason. I can't give her free. free plug, you know? Nobody needs to know. Alright, we got Ghost Blade. We're going to go collect her. Should I get boots? Well, at least I have two winning lanes. I'd say mid lane's pretty even, but he also did die four times. We just have to deal with the smolder late game. Hopefully he doesn't 1v5. Easy, partner. Although after playing Graves, though, I don't really like him. He doesn't feel that strong. I don't know why. I feel like if I... I mean, he's not the greatest for this comp. We need frontline. But I might play something... Something else. I'm trying to think. I think Belveth will be really good. God, she's kind of running them over. I'll go do the objective. Nice. Alright, we're essentially gonna win. Unless she starts throwing, so... Just need to be careful about that. Yeah, let me know, um, let me know in the comments who you want me to play for the next game. 
what jungler do you think I should play? I think we'll do like Nocturne be a good one. I need to play an AD jungler and an AP jungler. I need to have at least one of each of those, but I'm probably going to end up maining around three champions. I don't want to play too many. Unstoppable. I just get to full clear and win. I mean, I I ganked early. Nidalee didn't get any ganks early. So, I definitely did more than her. But there's not much else I could do when my lanes are winning that hard. I just clear. Collector, come to me. I need more money. Uh-oh. I mean, she's not gonna die. She's literally one shot. <laughs> Dragon's up soon. Curious to see what elo I'll get put in. I haven't used this account. I barely even use this account. This account's like 10 years old or something. I don't remember. This kind of feels like a silver game though. The lower I get put, the better though. Because, like I said, I need time to learn. I need time to learn and play new stuff. If I get put right into like Emerald Diamond, I feel like it won't be as fun. Uh -oh. well, at least they killed Smolder. Of my collector, I've gotten almost every objective besides the first dragon, which would would have been impossible. Oh, you know what? I want to play Kane. Kane, Red Kane's getting buffed. I actually used to play Kane a lot, so Kane will be a good one. We'll see. There's a lot of jungle champs. But if I can play a little variety of jungle camps that are good for different team comps, I'd probably have the easiest time climbing. And jungle's so, like, chill sometimes. I mean, sometimes as mid lane, I just submit and farm all game, but this is, like... Just clearing endlessly. I mean, I have the most farm in the game. Here's where we'll start throwing, though, if people... Keep fighting mid. You don't go for objectives or try to siege as five. <laughs> She's probably raging. Oh no, I took her 16th kill. I'm attacking faster. Oh, hey, a Nidalee. Alright, let me go buy Collector. 
Graves would apparently go LDR or Cleaver next. They don't really have that much armor. I feel like the Cleaver for me would be better, but... I have enough. I'm just going to buy this. It's like... I'm not even going to be able to frontline that much because they're going to die. I'm just going to be able to launch Q and R in a fight, so I may as well just go as much damage as I can. Get that armor shred. Um, did I ever pick up the Herald? Oh, no. I picked up the Herald and either didn't use it or I didn't pick it up. But, yeah. I mean, I was a little distracted. I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to figure out what to talk about. I mean, that's good. We let Ash get engaged on. We let Ash get engaged on and then we just fight them because they burn everything on the people that are easy to kill. I think I was still dead even if the auto didn't cancel. Nice thing about Ash though is if the player sucks, they just become an R button and they can eventually help. I need a sweeper. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even remember what happened to the Herald Eye. Did somebody else pick it up? Because we got this turret, but maybe... Maybe I... I don't remember picking it up. It would have flashed my screen. I must have either not picked it up or somebody else did. Did I just use the Ghost Blade to get to the jungle faster? It's not that long of a cooldown. It was warded. Help her clear this. Oh. Well, now I'm starting to do some damage. Yeah, I'm down to do Baron. We get forced to fight, that'll probably end the game. The thing is, they got Pantheon and Smolder ult. It doesn't look like they're ready yet, we can just finish it. Now I'm doing so much damage. Oh, almost a quadra kill. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I didn't really feel like I did damage though until I started critting them. I don't know, I definitely will need some Graves coaching if I want to keep playing him. I actually don't feel like I could have the biggest impact on him with how I play. Alright, well. 
Our first game's a win. Not my proudest game. But I'll take it. It's better than a loss. Nine and two. I had the most farm. I was actually going to dodge this game with how bad my team comp was. But then I saw, you know what? Maybe the Talia top is like a smurf or something, which she is. It's like, who just randomly plays Talia top? All right, silver three. Perfect. This is a great starting spot. See the damage. Oh my god. Our bot lane didn't really do anything, but their top side didn't really do anything, so it evens out. Not bad at all. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments who I should jungle for game two. I will jungle the highest commented. Or the highest, com the comment with the highest likes champion, if there is one even. Otherwise, I'll just play whatever I want. But yeah, let me know. Peace. And see you for many more episodes.